thank you very much for the opportunity to present uh, Peptonic Medical here today. Peptonic Medical is a Swedish femtech startup company on a mission to revolutionize uh, intimate um, healthcare. And if you look at the intimate care category, it's basically anything within reproductive and sexual health. The part of this where we are focusing is um, uh, medical conditions that can uh, occur in this part of the body. It's already today a very sizable market with 300 billion uh, sec on a consumer level worldwide. 25% uh, is still a shameful area and 25% never seek help. Annual growth rate, depending on uh, medical conditions, is around 3 to 12%, uh, percent, where we see a faster growth for self-care solutions. We want to um, liberate and empower women, and we want to do it in a safe and joyful manner, without shame, as our country manager Fanny says for Sweden. And we do this by building a portfolio where we diagnose, we treat, and we prevent uh, intimate health care issues. If you look at some social trends, this is from a big survey done during the pandemic, where 65% said, after the pandemic, I will take better care of myself, of my health. 80% said, I will do that with self-care solutions, because I want to take pressure off um, healthcare systems. If it's not very severe, I want to handle the uh, self-care, I want to handle my health myself. But if I do that, I want to do it with clinically proven self-care, proven products. Based on these observations, we have positioned uh, our portfolio that uh, we are building. Uh, on the left-hand side, there are um, products within self-care without clinical evidence. On the far right, there are, of course, prescription uh, products. About one-third is uh, self-care, this 300 billion uh, kroner market. And we have positioned and uh, working very hard to position in between non-proven self-care and prescription products a clinically proven self-care uh, portfolio. That is Vegivital, our brand. And I mentioned there are a number of medical conditions that can occur. That's vaginal atrophy, vaginal candida, bacterial vaginosis, urinary tract infections, a number of them that can occur during different stages of life. And um, for example, vaginal atrophy, which means your mucosa, uh, mucosa is uh, dried out and thinned, it causes a lot of pain. 50% of all women after menopause, 30% of all women uh, are still fertile, have a problem with the imbalanced microbiota in, in the intimate area. Uh, and then you have about 9% of all people, women have a urinary tract infection. So depending on age, uh, depending on um, type of problem, we have various prevalences. But it's a very big area with hundreds of millions of women affected. Looking at our portfolio, what we are building, as we mentioned, a most complete offer. We diagnose, we treat, we prevent. We do it with clinically proven uh, products. And we have a strong pipeline. We, only two years ago, we had two products. Next year, we will have more than 15. And as far as we ever can, we do patent our products. So we have 11 patent fam families currently. I will just briefly take you through the products we have. Uh, currently, we are launching end of this year a, a self-diagnosis for urinary tract infection. A self-diagnosis in the middle is our biggest seller. Uh, for a self-diagnosis for bacterial vaginosis. And this is our biggest seller worldwide. We sell it through, we just mentioned to the market, we sell it through Walmart, Walgreens, CVS in the US, and we sell it through Bayer Healthcare in Europe. And then we are launching next year, early next year, a menopause test. And a fourth product in the test range is in the latter part of pregnancies, 20 to 30% of all pregnant women visiting the gynecologist have a problem with leakage that is not identified. And it can be urine, then it's not a problem. Or it can be amniotic uh, leakage, fustervatten in Swedish. And it's not that it's released, it's, it's just dripping. And if that happens uh, uh, over time, you can have problems with the orphan and you can have problems for the mother. So you need to get it diagnosed. And we have a patented solution with 97% accuracy to diagnose uh, amniotic leakage. Then we have our treatments. We have um, 
a hormone-free treatment for uh, vaginal atrophy. In the middle, I mentioned our biggest seller is the uh, self-test for bacterial vaginosis. We're just merging with another Swedish company uh, called Farmiva. They have a patented treatment here for bacterial vaginosis. So we diagnose, we treat, we're building this uh, portfolio. And then next year we will launch a product for vestibulitis, which is a big problem for younger women, about 10% of all younger women with extreme pain. So we have a patented solution we're bringing to the market for vestibulitis. Prevent, we're also being, building that range. When we have it diagnosed, what is your problem? When you have treated it, getting rid of it, how do you prevent it from coming back? So we have a patented uh, intimate wash that is more than a wash. It also strengthens uh, the intimate area and moisturizes it. And then we have a um, preventive gel for urinary tract infections to prevent them from coming back. The last I want to mention is, uh, we said this is a, a still, even if it's a lot of improvement, it's still connected with some fa uh, shame. So how we communicate this is important. And um, uh, we also work very closely with healthcare practitioners and we work a lot, a lot of women seek information. We work very actively with information, how to find uh, the treatments and solution for this. And we are not the biggest company yet, but we hope to grow and become sizable. So we have to be small but smart in our way of working with this. We are quite explicit. We mix uh, beauty with uh, care and um, some humor based on this. We had a very successful campaign in Sweden this uh, summer, which also led to all-time high in Q3. Being very explicit in, in our marketing, we also need to base that on a very serious platform, which we do. To be a medical device company, we have already spent uh, 12 million euro in, in uh, research and, and development. So we do a very serious platform when you're explicit, we think is important. We started off with one product for 50 plus, and then we started with a product for younger women that is very expensive. So we are building a portfolio that's a value for women, uh, but it's also value for our marketing uh, money that we have a portfolio for each age group because you can have different problems during different times of your um, age. And um, we just launched, um, released our Q3 report and we did tell the market our home market is growing really fast. That's where we are creating a reference model. That's where we're creating a toolbox where we'll then now when we are going for a more rapid geographical expansion, we'll use that model to put support our partners to grow their local uh, business. We're currently in uh, head office in Stockholm in Sweden. We have a sales office in US and we have we acquired two years ago these self-tests from an Israeli company. So we have development and production in Israel. I should mention that it's a horrible situation in Israel, but our plant is in an unaffected area, so we'd still produce and, and deliver. We sell about 30% of our sales in our home markets, our reference markets, Sweden. Uh, our biggest individual market with the channels I mentioned is US, and then we sell about 30% of our business to partners in Europe. We also have a wholly owned subsidiary in Finland called Lune, and they are a market leader on um, uh, sustainable period products under the brand name Lunette. That's a very competitive area, so what we're doing now, we are focusing that on, on fewer markets and improving uh, the result. And what you can see if you follow, follow uh, our development is that we are improving the result and we are growing rapidly. And underlying is our core business, Diagnose, Treat, Prevent for Medical Consumer, is growing very fast. And when we move into 2024, we have the portfolio now, we have the reference uh, market in Sweden, and we want to bring this portfolio and toolbox to our uh, partners and sign more. So why invest in Peptonic? It's a fast growing market gaining in attention. Uh, we have the most complete offer. We diagnose, we treat, we prevent. We have a scalable business model. We set the reference market in Sweden and now in partnership with local distributors, we will help them grow uh, the local business. And we have a strong team. Up till very recently, we were, there were very few of us. We have strengthened the um, team now with a partner manager, a new CFO, and with a merger with um, 
Farmiva, we will uh, strengthen the team even more. So we are also getting ready on an uh, organizational point of view to start to grow this uh, faster from 2024. So with that, we hope we have raised some interest for joining Peptonic on the journey. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you. Well, I'll start right away with some of the questions I'm getting here in the chat. There are quite a few. Um, how do you work to break the stigma around vaginal diseases? Can you give concrete examples? Yeah, I think we showed some. We tried to base it on um, uh, making the whole marketing aspect of it appealing, beautiful, nice, caring, with a sense of humor. So we do uh, think we break the stigmas uh, that way. Mm -hmm. so, so. And um, how big of a role does, uh, do cultural conditions play in your marketing strategies? Do you, uh, do you adapt your marketing depending on the cultural context? Yes, I mean, for now, our biggest market where we are marketing ourselves is Nordic, is Sweden. So, uh, but I lived, for, for example, for 10 years in Hong Kong, work in the Asia region, there you have to adopt uh, the strategies. So we will see now when we focus more on geographical expansion, expansion how we adopt. But uh, I would say the base is always the same, and then you top it up with the uh, local adoptions. Mm -hmm. Speaking of geographical expansion, do you see more interest in certain areas of the world? Uh, we see interest all over the world. I think the whole world is um, uh, growing their interest and attention to this uh, marketplace. Where we see the biggest growth is US now with the channels we have, and then we're focusing on signing uh, partners in Europe. So our focus is US and Europe, and later on my, my old area, Asia. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you, you talked about the merger between you and Farmiva, uh, yes. for example. What are the benefits of this merger? I think one key benefit, as, as I said several times, we want to build a diagnosis to prevent, and we, our biggest seller is this self-test for bacterial vaginosis, and the Farmiva company has developed a patented uh, unique method, so we think that will be lovely addition, diagnosis treat. And then, of course, as I said, we have been a bit thin, especially in the headquarters. We are getting, we, we will become a stronger organization. And that's actually a question I have here. How, how will the organizational structure change as a result of the merger? We will get some more, uh, uh, we haven't communicated this yet, but we will have more commercial capacity, but also more on the uh, regulatory and development uh, side. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone is asking, they're curious about whether you're, um, uh, w will you continue buying companies? Oh, uh, that's a very relevant question. The way we have built the portfolio so far is a combination of own development, acquisitions, uh, well, and mergers. Uh, we have we acquired the Israeli company two years ago. Now we are merging with Farmiva, and to complete the portfolio, um, it might be more acquisitions. But we are getting close to have a complete offer. So let's right. see. And um, uh, what are your principles around sustainability? As, I mean, uh, if you look at the wholly owned uh, subsidiary in Lune, the whole uh, objective with that is offered sustainable uh, period products like menstrual cups, uh, period panties. Mm -hmm. We also have on some of our products, we have instead of w one uh, off uh, applicators, we have reusable applicators. So we do what we can to contribute to sustainability. And uh, just the last question, what, do you, what can we expect from Pe Peptonic in 2024? You can expect an accelerated growth. You can expect that we uh, are launching another 10 products and now we've gone from two, two years ago to more than 50 next year and we are rolling out this concept now with Diagnose, Treat, Prevent, uh, including a stronger organization with the Farmiva merger. Well, looking forward to following Peptonic then. Thank you so much uh, for your presentation. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>